here with my dogs. We living it out. Gang, so as you guys can see, we got the gold brick thing getting cleaned up, nice and clean, man. Getting it all together. That thing, y'all. That thing looking dirty. Look at the rims all dirty. I mean, it ain't that bad, but it's bad. So we about to get this thing all cleaned up. You can see a little bit of that dust on the front there. But guess what? The folks are still spinning, baby. I let them clean that thing up. Got my son Jordan with me. Say what's up to him, Jordan. <laughs> He's so nervous of the camera, y'all. But we about to go grab some food. So we're gonna walk somewhere, and grab some food, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a little bit, man. We just have to make sure y'all seen the car all dirty. Truck dirty, Jordan? Yeah, Definitely. spoiled milk. I don't know what that is. No, that, no. It is. Oh, somebody, you was in there when they spilled it? No, you guys left it. Oh, that sound like Melissa. Sound like something my woman would do. Shout out to my lady mom, Dash. Make sure you go follow her on the IG. All right, Jordan, come on, let's go over here. So yeah, we're gonna make this little walk, go grab some food while we wait on this truck getting cleaned and everything. Other than that, um, catch you guys in a little bit, man. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit, baby. What to do, Bear Gang? I am back, baby, with another video. As you guys can see, I got my beautiful lady, Mom Dash, and make sure you go follow her on the IG. But y'all see earlier in this video, man, we went and got the gold brick cleaned up because that thing was looking mighty dirty after coming back from Hawaii. So with that being said, I um, had to clean that thing up. And uh, yeah, so now we got it all cleaned up. Now we're about to get to this video and get started. And y'all guys see the title, you see the thumbnail, man. So we still got some more unfortunate news about the Durango, my lady's Durango. And uh, as you guys can tell the way she's looking at me, she got some things she probably want to share with you guys as well. So, you know, hey, it's a lesson learned, man. Things happen and they just happen in a situation to where I just didn't know enough before I did it. So if I knew more and I probably would have did some better research I guess before we put it on I just it is what it is that's all I can say so you know I apologize to my lady because I know she's just about <laughs> had it with this being her Durango being all sat down and not being able to get driven when we pay on this thing so you know yeah, those monthly monthly payments are pretty hefty my friends and Logan wants his TVs back but <laughs> I think I think after this uh bill that's about to come in the old durango is about to get the boot oh yeah it's definitely gonna have to get the boot the durango might have to go we're gonna see we're gonna figure it out we're gonna see what we're gonna do but first thing first we gotta at least get the thing right get it back running right and uh do all that stuff so as you guys know we took the whipple off of it so we're gonna go over to my guy pays automotive talk to my guy kevin and uh you know if he ain't there then i'll explain to you guys what's going on with the truck pretty much where we gonna go from here. So we're gonna go ahead, hop up in the gold brick thing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out what's going on with this thing and we'll catch you guys when we get over the pegs out of both.
right, gang. So as you guys can see, we are here at Paves Automotive, man. Time to check up on the Durango, man. See how this thing doing. Come on, tell them something, baby, because they know you got something you want to Gary say. Gary just to. doesn't want me to roast him to smithereens on his whole, you know, yeah. channel about. I apologize, baby. If, if you wonder happen. why the video slowed down a bit, Jeremy's gonna be working some serious OT. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just, just joking. Gonna produce more videos. I'm not gonna get him too much on camera. It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's oh, all right, but we're gonna go in here. We're gonna check out the Momzilla. I haven't seen it probably in like I don't know two, three weeks. Yeah. Whenever I probably haven't even drove it since we've been in Texas. Yeah, since we even went to Texas. That's how long it's kind of been gone. Not that I go too many places you know what I mean but we're gonna jump in here we're gonna go take you guys inside to see what the real damage is <laughs> so we'll catch you guys once we get inside baby enjoy the b-roll was um, I had over the years like because these are your original injectors yep. the injectors for the supercharger are still on the supercharger okay. so we thought okay well maybe one of the injectors just took a crack because it sat you know uh, so we owned all the injectors up they, they have all the same resistance we even moved an injector over to number five still. so yeah because I've had over the past where one injector would affect a, a bank of the motor so yep. we, we did that, nothing. And then so we, we, we went right at the computer. So the one power wire that comes from there to here, uh -huh. we checked right at the computer and there's nothing right at the computer. So, and then we checked resistance. Each power wire almost has about the same resistance. There's like a, a 0 0.01 difference between right, all of right. them, you know. And then, uh, so, so we know the integrity of the wires from there to here, okay. nothing is shorted to each other. Um, we made sure nothing is pinched. Right. You know, looked all the way around the harness and everything. Nothing got pinched. Uh -huh. You know, and then uh, so it, it's down to the driver and the computer. But why did it start with the software? I mean, you know, putting in a stock flash. You know, so I even uh, got a, a Whipple to send. Uh, the original flash for it. So whoever buys the the uh, supercharger, just tell them the other things they need is just these two short pipes. Short pipes. And the supercharger system will come with the rubber with the rubber hoses. Okay. Um, we're we're 100% sure we're not getting the positive pul uh, pulse from the computer for number five. Okay. Yeah. As far as the computer, I'm still searching for still searching for one. Yeah. yeah, and the the kit, the kit, the kit is the way they engineer the kits is really nice. You don't have to like cut a factory harness to wire their harness pigtail into it and everything. Right. Everything was done externally. Okay. You know, the the, 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 the main the, the, the injector it utilized the factory uh, injector plugs. These same plugs plugged into the okay. other injectors, okay. and the way they they. Uh, they amplified the, the fuel pump. It just basically went to the uh, the main fuse for the fuel pump. They just uh, amplified the, the fuse, and then it sends more voltage back to the pump. yeah to the pump. So uh, yeah. All right, gang. So as you guys can see, oh, he's all smiles. My, he's laughing, giggling. My guy Kevin explained a little bit to you guys, but we'll kind of explain more. My lady's more of a mechanic, so I'm gonna just let her explain. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Tell him what he was saying. Yeah, the whole thing is just <laughs> That's just, the, the moral of the story is that everything has to be replaced. And all I see is dollar bill signs. That's what, all I can hear. Computer, this water pump, money, 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 money. Water money. pump's fixed. It's yeah. not leaking anymore. Oh, it's not, that's it, but my bank account's leaking. It's, it's injured, man down. And Jeremy is very hopeful with all the OT he's picking up to make this thing work. We're gonna get it together. <laughs> Y'all pray do for him. We're gonna do whatever we can to make it work. Because so. 
I got faith in my guy Kevin, man. I know him at, here at Paves Automotive, they always do their thing, look out for us, so. You know, yeah, hey. they're great people. They're working yeah. hard on the vehicle. I have nothing poor to say about him or what's going on. It's just a lot, a lot. It's like way over my head. I'm like, yeah. I, I'm done with this conversation. Just tell me what I owe on the way out. <laughs> just do what you gotta do. But, yeah. yeah. But you know, nonetheless, it's it's not leaking coolant no more. You know. <laughs> gotta, gotta find a positive. Gotta, in gotta this. find a positive in it. So you know, only way we can say is it's not leaking coolant no more. That's fixed. You know, obviously you guys can take a look at it and y'all see it doesn't have the Whipple on it no more. So like I said, if you guys want the Whipple, man, there's some things you're going to have to get because it had to be used for the car now because obviously when they took the, whole, the stock stuff off, had to switch some of that stuff with the Whipple stuff. So there will be some things you have to new, get for it new from Whipple. So, you know, if you want it, like I said, always hit me up on Instagram. You see it on the screen. It's always down in the description of every video. So if you want it, you know, hit me up and I can tell you the things that you're gonna need for it. And uh, other than that, man, we're just pretty much trying to figure out, you know, pretty much where uh, PCM is available at. I don't even, I think it's a PCM. Where the PCM is available because obviously you guys know there's a shortage on chips. What so. a time to have this go take a crap. In the midst of COVID, no computer well, chips to be found. I think the thing is, too, is that we didn't, like I, I, like I keep referring back to, I didn't have enough information about this before I did it. So maybe I should have, you know, it's part of my fault that I, I should have took the time and like maybe researched hey, putting this whip along and doing all learn. this. It, it living is what it is. So. It is what it is. Just going through the motions now, man. We're just trying to do the best to get this thing back right. Get my lady back happy because, uh, like so I if said, you see Jeremy didn't. fanning me and feeding me grapes, you know what happened. <laughs> you know, just don't ask questions, just smile and nod. Say, Yep, it's okay. Oh, it's okay for you. I love my lady, and I'll do anything to make sure my woman is happy. So, you know, with her being grouchy about this truck, I don't want this grouchiness no more. So, I'm trying to do whatever I can to make sure this thing gets back running, get it back right. But, you know. Thank you for being understanding, baby, because uh, you've been, she's been a little grouchy, but not too bad, you know. Like I say, <laughs> live and you learn, man. So with that being said, I'm going to close this video out, man, and uh, still got some things that need to be done with it. So you guys know people that got PCMs or wherever, drop comments down below. Let us know, man. Other than that, I appreciate my guy Kevin and his wife over here and all their mechanics here at Paves Automotive because they do a good job, man. I've been rocking with them for a while and uh, never dissatisfied with anything. Everything is always good. So if you live in Arizona and you need some work done, this is a place to come to and get it done, man. So other than that, anything else you want to tell them, baby? I ain't got nothing else to say, my friends. <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next video, baby. Gang, gang, gang.